Assalamualaikum. This assignment presentation for the course Computer and Communication Research is about how to set up and configure Postgres on Linux operating system. For the purpose of demonstration of the configuration procedure, we have used Ubuntu 11.04. Before the configuration procedure, we will have a brief introduction about Postgres. Postgres is a mail transfer agent. It is actually the default mail transfer agent for Ubuntu. The MTS task is to move email from one host or network to another. First of all, we need to open the terminal that is the command window equivalent in Linux. In the terminal window, write sudo apt get update. This apt get command is used to update the local packet index with the latest changes made in the repository. It basically updates the APT or advanced packaging tool package information. This command will take about 5 to 10 minutes to execute. When done, we are ready to install Postgres. For that purpose, type sudo apt-get install Postgres. This apt-get install command automatically downloads and installs the required program. Once Postgres is installed, a Postgres configuration window will appear, asking general type of mail configuration, the options being low configuration, internet site, internet with smart host, satellite system and local only. The no configuration option should be chosen to leave the current configuration unchanged. By the internet site configuration, mail is sent and received directly using SMTP. By the internet with smart host configuration, mail is received directly using SMTP or by running a utility such as fetch mail. Outgoing mail is sent using a smart host. By the satellite system, all mail is sent to another machine called a smart host for delivery. In the local only configuration, the only delivered mail is the mail for local users and there is no network. Our requirement can be fulfilled by either second or third option. Let's say we select the third option that is Internet with smart host. Next step will be providing the system mail name. This mail name will be used to qualify all the mail addresses which don't provide a domain name. We can write any name for our system mail. The default written is ubuntu.local domain. We will leave it as it is for the purpose of this assignment presentation. Next is to enter SMTP relay host. We write smtp.gmail.com as address and 547 as port. This address and port is for Gmail SMTP server. After this option, the configuration setup might continue or exist. If it exists through terminal window, type sudo ppkg reconfigure postgres in order to configure other parameters. In the root and postmaster mail recipient option, type any name, for example, we write recipient in the field. In the field of other destinations to accept mail for, we leave the default destination. It is basically a list of domains for which our machine should consider itself the final destination. For the fourth synchronous update on mail queue, we have a trade off between speed and reliability. If you want speed and can compromise on reliability, don't force synchronous updates. If you prefer the other option, choose yes. Here it is important to mention that the chance for losing mail is remote and that too in a condition that the system crashes at a specific time. We choose no for this option. Next is to specify local network. We add our IP address to the end of the default set value. Now to specify the mailbox size limit, you can enter any value you want. A value of 0 means no limit. We write 0 here. Leave the local address extension character the plus sign as it is. In the internet protocol to use option, we choose all. If just connecting via one IP version, the unused one may be removed. By default, the protocols enabled at installation time of the operating system are used. In the next step, we need to modify the etc folders main file, which cannot be performed if we are signed in as a user. So we sign out from the user and sign in as root. Root is the Linux equivalent for administrator in Windows. So all the configuration and other settings are allowed if we are signed in as root. Once logged in, go to places, computer, file system, etc folder. Inside the etc folder, find the postfix folder and open main.cs. At the end of the main.cs file, add the command shown. These commands enable authentication if you write yes, as we have here. Set the password directory to the file mentioned in the path. 
It should be mentioned here that we need to create that password file ourselves. We will do that, that in the next step. The command also sets the security options to no anonymous, which makes sure that an anonymous user cannot use this server. You can set these commands any way you want to and save the file. Now, in the Postfix folder, create a new empty file. In that file, enter address, colon, port number, space, your name at the domain you entered before, email in this case, colon, your password. An example is shown. Rename this file to the name you entered as the password file in the main.cf. We have entered that as sasl underscore passwt, so we name this file the same. Save the file and exit from there. Then open the terminal and type the command shown. The chmod or change mode command lets a user tell the system how much or little access it should permit to a file. chmod 400 means that the file mentioned can be read only by the owner. Execute the postmap command to reprint the file after changing it. Now, restart Postfix to make the changes have effect. Then obtain the IP address of the machine by using the command ifconfig. Now to check if Postfix has been configured properly or not, write telnet space your IP space 25. 25 is the port for telnet. Telnet is a network protocol used to provide a bidirectional communication facility using a terminal connection. If connected, write thlo space name. We use mail as name here. Once this command is entered, if star cls and 8 bit mime is among the other statements returned, it means that postfix has been configured properly. Then we write mail form colon email address from which the mail is to be sent and rtpp2 colon email id to which the mail is to be delivered. The email can be written by writing data and pressing enter. Then we write the mail including subject and text and end the data with a single dot in a separate line. Once entered, the mail will be queued for sending. So it can be observed that Postfix has been set up, configured and tested for SMTP. Thank you.